Come at me, bro! Whoa! Whoa, he's coming at us, all right. Ladies and gentlemen, meet the real form of Smithy. His body and head act independently, and his head currently is weak to fire. Do not get used to that, because that head will not be in a state that will be weak to fire for much longer. So get out your super flame your, on your first turn, because you ain't got much. Um, get out your super flame if you have the flower points still. You don't recover your flower points between this battle and the last, so take your shots at Smithy now. That, like I said, the head and the body act independently. Uh, destroying the body will not... You cannot destroy the body, actually. You can only... You can only uh, d temporarily disable it. Therefore, your job is to destroy the head. Like any good sniper, you want to splatter his gray matter. Well, circuitry all over the walls of this hellscape. But, uh, yeah, like, the main thing, gimmick is that his b head sh changes shape. His shape... This shape is his tank shape. In the, his tank shape, he is uh, has very high physical defense, very low magic defense. So let's go ahead and scorch this fucker. Um, he's weak to electricity in this form, so if you happen to have brought along, brought, brought along Malo, well then, this is the time to strike. It may not, you may not have um, quite as much offense either, as you would if you had brought in Gino, but the fact that is, is that in this form, he... You gotta watch out. Uh, in this form, you have to be really careful because uh, the tank form has an instant kill. That magnum attack, instant death. He also has a couple of physical attacks. In it. And the body pretty much only has physical attacks. So those two together, if they focus on a target, that target's probably gonna go down. So go ahead and just uh, try to get as much pain damage as you, in, as you can. Ouch. That Those physical attacks from the body do some pretty painful damage, so let's go ahead and shotgun flame. Um, I really want to disable that body some, somewhat. Um, it's probably more, the head's more important, but the body should probably be disabled temporarily at some point in this fight, just because of the fact that if we do not, the fight's going to drag on much longer than it really needs to. Yeah, like I said, the, that tank form has some real pain going for it. it. It's not the strong form that you really have to worry about, though. I mean, it all attacks your single target. Um, there are other forms that are more worrisome. The uh, head has four different forms besides that base form that it, it starts out when, with. And there we go, we disabled his body. And he's gonna change heads on us. To his wizard form, which has a lot of really dangerous spells. Sword Rain, Meteor Storm, uh, Meteor Swarm, uh, Crystallize. It, it, he has a lot of attacks that hit everyone. He is also immune to all magic. Well, all type magic anyway. Uh, he, he can't get hurt by Geno Flash, but the amount of damage that Geno Flash does against his wizard form is pitiful and not worth spending your attack. Thankfully, the wizard form, like any good squid wizard, is a squishy wizard. Wizard. Oh yeah, Dark Star. I forgot that it had single target attacks. But yeah, like any good wizard, it is squishy. So use your physical attacks on it. It is probably the easiest way to rack up damage against Smithy. Wait for him to go wizard form and then go ahead and just butt heads with the lazy shell and the, your star and your star gun and just seriously mamma mia look at that damage 400 i don't think i've ever seen the lazy shell put out that much but yeah like i said you have to be extra careful against smithy when he's in this form thankfully these are the only two forms that he actually has that actually do damage the other forms though Still something you have to worry about, just because of the other stuff those forms can do. Well, we will get into that when those forms come up. And now the body has revived itself. So, once again, we're going to need to take out that body. But the head is sent it's so frail right now. I think we can ignore the body for the time being and just focus on, uh, on getting in as many headshots as we can while trying to survive the brunt of all these nasty, nasty spells. And uh, hopefully the head... The body doesn't do a good follow-up with from that head, because oh my god, it could get rather messy rather quick. Um, go for the head or the body. The body works too. Although, all right, and he's changing head shapes to the exact same head shape as before. 
Uh, sometimes he does this, ladies and gentlemen. Sometimes you won't see a new head shape right off the bat. There are no determined patterns for what head shapes he'll take, um, other than the fact that I think he will always use the wizard form as a, in his dying breath. Um, but um, other than that, he really, it is pretty much random what he will go with uh, as far as what head shape. Uh, just, if, if you need a second coat of Geno Boost, I believe your first coat from the battle before carries over, but if you need a second coat, feel free, because this battle does, is, does drag on. Smitty's head, the one that part that you actually have to kill, has 8,000 HP. This sucker is not going to go down easy. This is another, the, this form itself is a 15 minute battle. You saw Culex dragged on? Oh boy, you ain't seen nothing yet, but take out just take out as that head as best as you can, ladies and gentlemen. Just aim for the head and shoot him with whatever you got. When he's in wither, wizard form, use your physical attacks. When he's in tank form, use your magic attacks. There are other forms that you have to watch out for as well, but I, we will get to those when they pop up. But right now, just brunt yourself against the full force of Smithy's magic, because ladies, ladies and gentlemen, this is not gonna be a cakewalk. This is, we are in robot hell for a reason and just now yeah, finally he's changing shape again to his uh, safe hold form in this form he won't actually do any attacking on us however he does so this is probably the best time to go after a body however he does have that shredder spell that that uh, q actually used against us that's right ladies and gentlemen he's going to be debuffing our defense or rid getting rid of our, 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 our offensive buffs or something. I'm never quite sure what Shredder does, but watch out. This is probably the prime time to aim for the body, because the uh, uh, head, head right now has massive defense against pretty much everything. Magic and physical attacks. You can still probably do some damage with the Lazy Shell and Star Gun, but um, overall it's just not going to be the same offensively as it would be if you were doing anything else. But like I said, he only has Shredder in this form, so he can't hurt you if you take out the body. So just go ahead and just punch right through whatever he has right now. Just punch him in the head with your physical attacks or super flame if you want to give it a shot. Uh, overall, I don't think that'll be too successful, but you know, give it a shot anyway. Yeah, he's immune to magic here. Most magic, not all magic, but you gotta watch your, your back. See, he, he, even the frying pan would be good against Wizard Smithy. Uh, safe old Smithy, you're. The frying pan's not getting through at all, so just go ahead and get there he goes, changing shapes again into safe hold again. Eh. Well, I guess it, I guess if he wants to waste his turn changing his head shape instead of you know doing something, I thought he had other spells other than Shredder, but um, uh, maybe I don't know, probably like buffs or something like that. I can't think of anything else that this form would use, but uh, breaker beam. Oh god, and. Eh. But yeah, like I said, the, if you want to take out the body, though, that is that is probably a good thing. So just don't expect the get, taking out the body to stick. Like I said, it regenerates after two or three turns. So just go ahead and go in with whatever you got, and hopefully you'll be able to make the most mincemeat out of this bastard. And now he's in treasure chest form. Here he is weak to jump. Uh, the treasure chest doesn't actually do any damage. However, it is a status effect of machine. Whenever it will open up and, and inflict a random status effect on the entire party. This is the reason I brought in Peach with the safety ring and Mario with the safety badge. They will be immune to whatever treasure head somebody brings out. Gino, unfortunately, the quartz charm doesn't make you immune to any status effects other than uh, than than just well. Now there's any status effect other than instant death, so Gino's gonna have to put up, up with having a sock stuff in, stuck in his mouth for now. Uh, take out whatever frustration you can on that treasure chest head, though, because it's gonna be doing a lot of really nasty uh, status effects. Um, thankfully, we are mostly in the clear for a uh, for just walloping the treasure chest head, and oh, now he's going ahead and uh, fearing everyone. That's no good at all. A little therapy, Peach, maybe? Actually, no, a group hug. Mario could use a little healing. Okay, never mind. Never mind. I obviously don't remember what I was doing when I did this. But yeah, just um, your best bet. I would have I would have genoblasted there. 
I mean, Gina flashed there. Oh well. Uh, but yeah, just as he cycles, those are his four head forms, ladies and gentlemen. Treasure chest, tank, safe hold, wizard. Watch them, learn them, know them. You are going to have to deal, do as much as you can to take this bastard down in all, in all of his forms. Like I said, um, if you were bringing in Mala for this fight, this is... Pff, it, overall, he, each of his forms, I believe, does have one elemental weakness. Um, so bringing in Mala probably wouldn't be an awful idea, but uh, I wouldn't be too safe about it. I think the safe hold head is weak to ice. Um, or... So you could probably try that, and the uh, well, treasure chest is weak to jump, and the remaining head, well, his magic defense is too high to even bother with uh, going ahead with whatever magic you happen to have planned for that. So just go ahead and just sock, sock him with your fists, or what, your lazy shells, your star guns, whatever. Give him a frying pan to the head, that works just as well. But I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, do not underestimate Smithy, I have actually... My first run through was probably my first run through this game when I was younger. I probably did die one or two times to Magnum just because of how much of a royal pain it is. It, I didn't. Yeah, Magnum got actually one shot me a couple times. But like all instant kill abilities, if you can get the time guard in, then you will actually be able to just prevent. You will not die, but you'll be left with one HP. And that's when the body comes in and slams a hammer on your head. Oh, well, you can't take it. You can't win it all, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, but I will tell you this, ladies and gentlemen. You, ha you have to be prepared for chest head smithy, especially. All those status effects will be just utterly, dis completely disabling, and you really have to watch out for them. Oh, Scarecrow, damn it. He, he packs every status effect under the sun under in that chest of his, so watch your back. Be prepared. If you don't, honestly, if there's no point in this game where I can say you'd be underleveled, and unless you're really going after, unless you're going after QX, you didn't really need to use a. Well, I guess if you're planning on a Geno flashing, okay, sure. But um, just watch your back against this guy. He has so many tricks that it is hard to that you will not be able to nail him down. Just, just hammer him with all your might and watch out, cause. Ah, uh, safe hold smithy. Yeah. Thankfully, his physical attacks, uh, while we do have a lot of, we are doing a lot of physical damage to him right now, I think I've probably Gina boosted way Mario's attack power into the stratosphere right now. I mean, 500 damage to the body with a laser shell. Yeah, that's going to be breaking them through safe hold smithy's head gear right there. But, um, just watch your back and bring whatever you can to the table, because this sucker is not going to go down without a fight. 8,000 HP, ladies and gentlemen. I reiterate, 8,000 HP. Yeah, but thankfully, a couple of lazy shells and take out the body, and then the head has pretty much nothing on you right now. So just go full tilt and... Like I said, this is going to be one of the... This is, besides QX, this is the hardest fight in the game. Just watch out for all the spells that the ma magic head brings. Watch out for the status effects that the treasure chest head brings. And be prepared for Shredder. I think it, I'm convinced that it shreds your defense here. Oh god, another mute. Uh, that's not going to be good for, uh, for Gino there. Hopefully a little healing will go a long way to recovering that. And there he goes. Magic head smithy. I think he realizes he's on the ropes and he's going to start nuking us with all his spells, trying to get at us down as weak as he can. Oh yeah, arrow rain. I forgot he could do that. Um, oh well. But uh, overall, this is where he's on his last ropes, ladies and, ladies and gentlemen. When he, when it's not his turn and he goes and changes head shit, apes to wizard head, this is where you know that you got him on the ropes. This is where he is about to go down and burning flames. Just keep pressing on with the what, with the best of your ability. Use whatever... Use Geno Flash. Use whatever tricks you have on your stable. Uh, honestly, Geno Flash probably not the best idea against Wizard Head Smithy. Like I said, his defense is astronaut... Magic defense is astronomical. Stick with your physical attacks. Aim for the head. And you should be able to deal with him just fine. That's it! It's over! We beat him. 
You keep using that word impossible. I do not believe it. I do not think it means what you think it means. No! And comes the explosion that kills everybody and releases a star into the heavens. Or does it kill anything? Everybody.